This one's for you, Dennis Calhoun. So I'm delving back into Unlucky Morpheus a little sooner than I really expected to do so. But the last video I did for Unlucky Morpheus is when our microphone went out and we were not aware until we got into post and started editing. By that point, it was too late. You can't react to something that you've already seen. When you donate, and I highly suggest you do to help us fix this damn microphone that's driving me nuts, you get an actual reaction. And I felt bad. Dennis is a great subscriber. He's in our Discord. He's one of the ones that donates for reactions, which we highly appreciate because that does help us in the long term get better equipment. We're using camera phones, guys. Right now, I'm on an Android. These are the end times. So I owe it to Dennis because of his donation to give him a second Unlucky Morpheus song. As it turns out, they put one out a little over a month ago. So let's delve into the Black Death Mansion Murders. Unlucky Morpheus. Let's do this. Sanctuary or Nevermore? What am I hearing?
lot of production in this song. Very interesting. I've read where several of you said this is melodic deathcore. And to an extent it is. It's got power metal in there because of the classical influences. Melodic deathcore isn't that classical. It's not Ingbe Malmsteen meets Cannibal Corpse. That's not melodic deathcore. And that's what a lot of this music is that's out there that people consider melodic deathcore. It's more classical. So it's more power. Power metal is more classically trained. And when you've got a violin player just shredding the way that she was, I don't know what to classify this, but I wouldn't call it melodic deathcore. I wouldn't call it power metal. It really rides the line between the two, but in my opinion, it's, it's kind of in a class all of its own. It's just different to me. But I like it. I actually like this one better than the last one I did. And the last one was great. It just seemed like the mix was off between the two vocalists. The other vocalist wasn't in this one, so there was no issue with the mixing. None of the production issues that had from before. Drummer, guitarist. You go down the list, everybody in that band is talented. So this was a very interesting band for me. And one of those that I'm extremely happy to have found through you guys by going through this world tour in our stop in Japan. So when it comes to the Japanese metal, I have quite a list now of bands from Japan that I now listen to. And I want to share with the rest of the world because you guys insisted that I check them out. Thank you. Ultimately, this one is for Dennis. Just to let you know, Dennis, we do appreciate you. And because our last video turned into shit and it was awful as far as production goes, Hopefully this one will be better, but until we can get to the point where we can buy the expensive microphones that will cancel out noise, we do have a three-year-old, we've got a lot, of, a lot of noise coming out of this room, so it's, that's why you hear the song Magic Sky. That's what you hear in the background right now. That was a band that back in the 90s, a really close friend of mine was the guitarist for, and may he rest in peace, one of the greatest guitarists I've ever heard in my life. So as a tribute to him, I put that into our music to drown out a lot of the background noise because we don't have very good equipment. It is what it is. We will grow and eventually we'll give you guys a much better quality in our reactions. <laughs> like, share, subscribe. So just do the thing. And until the next time, guys, as always, go back, be bro.